Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and today I have a review of the Drop Control Mechanical Keyboard. Let's get started. The Drop Control Mechanical Keyboard is a 10 keyless keyboard from Drop, formerly known as Mass Drop. Uh, this keyboard sells for over $200. Now, why is this keyboard so expensive compared to any keyboard you can buy at a Best Buy? Like we're talking, you can get keyboards for like 20 bucks. That's like 10 times more. So let's look at what makes this keyboard so special. We start with the base. The mass drop control is made from aluminum. This casing cannot flex. Like it's impossible to flex it. It's like most keyboards are made with cheap plastic. So when you spend more money on a keyboard, you get better material, starting with this aluminum case here. The other thing that makes this keyboard unique and expensive is the angle you can put it on. Like it comes with these little feet risers. So you can use a keyboard flat, you know, like flat, or you could attach these little risers here they're made with magnets on both sides. They clip right on right here, like so. And, and it raises the keyboard up to a six degree, more comfortable typing angle. You can also, if you want, to do a little something different, just to be a little different, the feet comes off and you can put it on the other end and do a reverse, uh, a reverse angle. So now it's like, do it that way. Forces you to raise up your finger and uh, you know, for something a little different, if you suffer from corporal tunnel syndrome, might be pretty cool. The, the first generation or the first version of the control only had, uh, only had magnets on one, on one end and didn't have magnets on, on the other end. The newest version had magnets on both ends and this holds it a lot more tighter because the first, gen the first version, a lot of people complained that when there's only got one magnet on the top, they just move it this way and the thing comes right off. And now it doesn't do that anymore. So you can like slide it and it won't come off. So next we come to lighting. The drop control keyboard has beautiful RGB lighting, over 16 million colors, totally customizable. So, you know, you can, you can change the, colors and lighting to whatever you want. Yeah, I should turn off the lights to give you a better effect. So let's do that right now. Hold down the function key and using the WASD key, you can cycle between all the various lighting mode. Oh, that looks nice, all white, all blue, green, ooh, yeah. If you don't like any of the preset patterns, you can fire up the software and program it yourself. In addition to controlling the lights, the software allows you to control every individual key. So if you want to uh, remap the keys to something else, if you want to use it on a Mac, you can do that as well. So, you know, like some of the keys are different. So total control over the lights and the key settings. Next, we come to the keycaps. See, most keycaps on a cheap keyboard are made with just ABS plastic. Uh, they wear out pretty quick and after a while they develop that little, sh you know, that sheen, that shine that you get, uh, that you see all the time, that, that, that cheap ABS. And generally the letters are just laser etched on it. So after a while with just fingers and stuff, the letters will just wear off and you know, yeah, because it's cheap. The drop control keycaps are made with double shot PBT plastic. These are much more um, longer lasting. They don't develop that, sh that keyboard sheen, that keyboard shine. And also the, the letters are made from another plastic. So if you look at the inside, it's double shot. Basically it's plastic 
on plastic. So this plastic forms the letter. It forms the letter, right? And so it's, this will never ever rub off because it's, it's plastic. It's rubbing off with the regular plastic. So that's double shot PB, PBT plastic, uh, much more durable, but also much more expensive. And that's one of the reasons this ski boy costs over $20. The drop control comes with a selection of key switches. You can order KO uh, or Cherry MX or there's a whole selection you can choose from and the price depends on the switches you choose. Uh, my particular unit is equipped with a uh, KO box white switches. This is a clicky switch and they sound really, really nice. It feels quite good, it's tactile. But uh, if I don't want these switches, or if I find I don't like it, uh, I want to try something else, this keyboard is hot swappable. I can remove the switch and add a different switch. So if I want to try a linear switch, I can switch it to that. I can want to try a, a tactile switch, I can do that too. Or I can just stick with the clicky switch. It's very, very simple, as you can see right there. Just plug in a new switch. And then you can get a whole new type of keyboard and change it to whatever you want. So complete customability. And these uh, switch, they sound really, really good. So let me show it to you. Overall, I really like this keyboard. Um, it, it feels great to type on. Uh, it, it looks really nice as well. I like the 10 keyless design. Um, I love these feet, fantastic. And the overall construction, this thing, ouch. <laughs> this thing is solidly built. I mean, yes, it's expensive, over $200, uh, but if you're looking for a super high quality fully customizable mechanical keyboard that allows you to change the keycap, pull out the switches, change the switches. Uh, this keyboard will grow with you. Uh, as you know, you can upgrade it later on, do anything you want to it. Great foundation in which you start a, you know, a, a, a great keyboard collection, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so uh, links to get the uh, drop control keyboard below this video. You want to pick one up for yourself. Uh, like I said, it's pricey, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it. John Shell from GiantSell.com. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.